The main component that we're looking here at that drop-in unit is uh, mainly a water tank made from polypropylene. Has a range from 150 gallon to uh, 500 gallon. This one has 400 gallon US uh, with a 20 gallon foam cell. We have obviously the portable pump here, which is uh, mounted with a uh, 21 horsepower diesel engine, and a mid-range pump here, which is a compromise between pressure and volume. Okay, so how to use that uh, drop-in unit? Uh, it's uh, pretty simple to use. Uh, first off, there's the, uh, the panel here, which you have the pump intake for the uh, intake here that will uh, guide you uh, when you're in vacuum or in pressure. There's a pump discharge or, or, uh, that will show all uh, pressure uh, on the outlet and service line on the cross lay. You have your priming system, and you have your engine panel, your foam system, and uh, your water tank level gauge. So basically, as a start, you need to start the engine, put the ignition, and wait. And since we're using a diesel engine, you need to wait until that uh, light is off, and then start the engine and uh, play with the throttle. There's a two way to put some water into the tank. The first one being the using the tank. So uh, there's a valve here, which is the uh, tank to pump valve that need to be open to bring the water into the uh, casing of the pump. So uh, using that, obviously you don't need to prime the engine. It will self prime itself with the gravity of the water. If you're not using the water tank, obviously we will draft and matter to bring water into the pump. So then at that moment, you will need to prime the engine. If you're not using the pump with service line, but your pump is primed and ready to use, you need to recirculate your water by opening the tank fill. So you won't generate some heat inside the pump and then uh, by generating heat, damage the pump. Uh, obviously, you have several outlets, which mean the one inch and a half outlet, two inch and a half outlet, and you have two cross lays, which uh, are used with those two valves. Once you're trying to prime, uh, if you're not able to prime again, you need to check if all the valves need to be closed. You need to verify and make sure that your drain is closed as well and that would be the main uh, component to check. There's some maintenance to do on that uh, ventry, on that system. Those two surfaces need to be uh, flush and uh, there's no air that should go out of that. If not, if there's some air going out there, you won't generate enough uh, vacuum to put water inside the pump when you're drafting. So once in a while, you, you want to make sure that those two surfaces are even. And the maintenance that would need to be done would be to take a sandpaper, sandpaper it, and uh, to make those two surfaces even.